This is an AI agent I built that automatically turns any YouTube video into professional LinkedIn content in seconds. No coding experience required, no social media logins needed. Just paste a video link and watch it create viral worthy posts instantly. Here's what's crazy. Most people think building AI agents requires years of programming knowledge and complex machine learning expertise. What if I told you that's completely wrong? In the next 15 minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how I built this entire AI agent using nothing but simple Python commands and AI assistants. We'll start with a completely blank project, install everything we need, connect to OpenAI's powerful models, and by the end, you'll have your own AI content creation assistant running in your browser. I'll walk you through all essential steps, from getting your OpenAI API key to building the sleek interface. And the best part, the AI will actually help us write most of the code. So whether you're a complete beginner who's never written a line of code, or you're looking to add AI automation to your content workflow, this is your step-by-step -step blueprint to building real AI agents that actually work. Let's dive in. We'll start by getting our workspace ready. Before building any features, we need a proper Python environment with all the libraries our AI agent will rely on. This includes everything for working with OpenAI models, grabbing YouTube transcripts, and eventually building the interface where users will generate their posts. To get that setup done, I'll ask Claude Code to set up a Python project for building an AI agent that can generate LinkedIn posts from YouTube videos, install all necessary packages for working with OpenAI's AI models, fetching YouTube transcripts, and creating a web interface create the main project files and verify everything is installed correctly. Install and set up only for now. Don't build the actual functionality yet. Claude handles the heavy lifting here. It installs the card libraries, sets up the folder structure, and creates the starter files for the project. By the time it's done, you'll see a clean project window with everything organized and ready for the next step. Now that the project structure is ready, the next thing we need is the OpenAI API key. This key is basically the bridge between our app and the OpenAI models. So without it, nothing we build is gonna generate any content. It's like giving your project permission to use the intelligence that actually powers the whole agent. So let's set that up. Head over to OpenAI, and in the top right corner, you'll see the option to create a new project. You can name it anything. I'll name mine AI agent, but feel free to get creative. After that, create a new API key. You'll see a list of permissions you can toggle. In a real production environment, you'd want to keep this key as limited as possible for security reasons. But since we're just building a demo, we'll keep things simple and set the permissions to all. Then copy the key, switch back to your VS Code project, and open the .env.example file that Claude generated earlier. Paste your key into the right field, save the file, and you're good to go. Right now, the project officially has access to OpenAI's models. That means any features we build after this, generating LinkedIn posts, pulling insights, transforming transcripts, can finally start working. All right, for this part, we're gonna get up the first real input for our agent. If we wanted to write posts about YouTube videos, it needs a way to actually read what was said in those videos. Instead of watching the video like a human, it works with a transcript. So the goal here is simple. We need to build a small helper function that takes a YouTube video and turns it into plain text that the rest of our system can use. Inside Claude code, let's ask it to create that helper for us. Create a function that fetches the transcript from a YouTube video. It should take a video ID as input and return the full transcript as text. Include error handling for videos that don't have transcripts or are unavailable. Claude then writes the code to call the YouTube transcript API, handle the video ID, and return the full transcript as one block of text. It also adds basic error handling so that if a video has no transcript, is blocked, or can't be processed, the function returns a clear message instead of crashing the program. Once the code is generated, we can run a quick test with a real YouTube video ID and check the input in the console to confirm that we are getting the full transcript back as text. After this step, our agent has something important, a reliable way to turn any supported YouTube video into clean text. With that in place, we are ready to move on to the fun part, 
which is turning that transcript into an actual LinkedIn post. This is the part where your agent actually starts sounding useful. We already have a way to pull transcripts from YouTube, but right now that is just raw text. What we want next is a tool that can take that text and turn it into a clean, ready to post LinkedIn update. So in this step, we will create a function whose only job is to read a transcript and turn it into something you would confidently share on your profile. Inside Claude Code, we'll ask it to create a function that generates a professional LinkedIn post from a video transcript. The post should have a strong opening hook, three to four key insights from the video, professional formatting, and relevant hashtags at the end. Make this function available as a tool that our AI agent can use. Include error handling and make sure it uses the API key from our environment file. Claude then wires everything up for us. It connects to OpenAI using the API key in the environment file, takes in the transcript text, sends it to the model with the right instructions, and returns a well-structured LinkedIn post. It also adds basic error handling so that if something goes wrong, we'll get a clear message instead of a crash. Once that's in place, we now have two key building blocks ready one function to fetch what was said in the video, and another function to turn that into a polished post. In the next step, we will start tying these tools together by defining the actual AI agent that will decide when and how to use them. At this point, we've got all the important pieces, but they're still just separate functions. What we need now is something that ties everything together and behaves like an actual assistant. It should know what its job is, know which tools it can use, and know how to respond when you give it a YouTube link. That's what we set up in this step. We define the AI agent itself. Inside Claude Code, we'll ask it to create an AI agent that can generate LinkedIn posts from video transcripts, give it clear instructions to act as a professional content writer who creates engaging, informative LinkedIn posts connected to the post generation function we created earlier. Configure it to use an efficient AI model and set it up to return results in a clean, organized format. Claude works out the agent configuration wherein it wires in the post generation function as a tool, sets the agent role and tone so it behaves like a professional LinkedIn ghostwriter, and makes sure the responses come back in a format that is easy to display in our interface later. After this, we now have an AI agent that knows what it's supposed to do and which tools it can call behind the scenes. In the next step, we'll set up the main workflow that actually runs this agent from end to end, from YouTube link to final LinkedIn post. We've built all the individual pieces of the agent, but they're still functioning separately. So now we're gonna connect everything so the whole system runs in one smooth sequence. This is basically the part where the agent learns how to handle a full request from start to finish without us manually triggering each step. Let's tell Claude to create the main workflow that brings everything together, load the API key, fetch a YouTube transcript using a test video ID, then run the AI agent to generate a LinkedIn post, display the results clearly with proper formatting, add progress messages at each step so we can see what's happening. Ensure this workflow is standardized in our AI agent. Claude then builds a central function that ties everything together. It loads your API key, grabs a transcript from a test video, sends the transcript to the AI agent, and prints the final LinkedIn post in a clean, readable format. You'll also see simple progress updates, so you know exactly which part of the process is running. Now this is the default routine every time the agent runs. From here on out, whenever you execute the program, it knows exactly what to do. Fetch the transcript, generate the post, and present the final result without any extra steps from you. Right now, everything works, but it still feels and looks like a developer tool. You have to run scripts, read console logs, and interact with functions directly. That's fine for testing, but not great if you want something you can use quickly or share with someone who doesn't code. So in this part, we're gonna turn the whole project into a simple web app that anyone can interact with by just pasting a YouTube link. Let's tell Claude, create a web interface for the AI agent. Add a title and description at the top. Include an input field for YouTube video IDs with clear instructions, a text area for optional custom instructions, 
and a button to generate posts. Show a loading message while processing. Display the generated LinkedIn post in a nice format with a copy button. Add friendly error messages if something goes wrong. Make it look clean, responsive, and professional. Claude builds out the entire Streamlit app. The layout, the input fields, the output area, and once we run it, the interface opens in the browser. From here, generating a post is as simple as pasting a link and clicking a button. Now that the UI is finished, the full agent is now complete. All that's left is to test it and see everything come together. Alright, it's time to launch the app and see it working in real time. I'll ask Claude Code to run the application, and after a moment, it opens in my browser with a clean, dark-themed interface. On the left side, the sidebar shows all the agent settings. I can see the API key field, the selected AI model, the tone and post link sliders, and a toggle for including the original video link in the final post. In the main section, the app walks me through the simple workflow. Paste a YouTube link, add optional custom instructions, and click Generate. For the first test, I'll grab a diary of a CEO episode with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Copy the URL and paste it into the input field. Let's leave the custom instructions blank for now. After a few seconds, the app generates a clean, professional LinkedIn post. It gives me a polished structure, a solid hook, key insights, and hashtags. At the top, we can see here the metrics, character count, word count, transcript word count, and the selected tone. At the bottom, there are options to download the post or regenerate it with a different tone. I can even open the full transcript if I want to reference the original content. Next, I'll test a second episode, this time featuring Robert Greene. Before generating, I'll switch the tone to casual, adjust the post length, and add a note saying, focus on the specific advice given by Robert Greene. After generating, the post reflects every change. The tone feels relaxed, the length is extended, and the emphasis is exactly where I asked it to be. Both tests show the same thing. The app instantly produces clear, structured, ready-to-post content from nothing but a YouTube link. And that's the full build. We now have a working AI agent that turns YouTube videos into polished LinkedIn posts on demand, customizable, fast, and powered locally using OpenAI as the model behind the scenes. Alright, that wraps it up. You now have your own AI agent that can take any YouTube link and turn it into a clean, ready-to-post LinkedIn write-up. It's simple, it's fast, and honestly, it's pretty fun seeing it work in real time. Thanks for watching and hanging out through the build. If you enjoyed it and want more projects like it, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.